I went through a really dark time period in my life. I um, was in an abusive relationship and it was quite violent, quite traumatic. And I had my left arm broken, two ribs and a concussion. I knew that being safe was the first step and then the second step was to get healthy. And so for me, uh, that healthy process was to get some good running shoes and to sign up for my first marathon. I started training for the marathon with a cast on my arm. I really hadn't even had the cast off my arm for very long, finishing the marathon, and um, decided that was gonna be a pivotal moment to just continue using my life for good. And so I decided to sign up for my first Ironman. A lot of people don't realize but about only 1% of the population has finished an Ironman. And so I think people would consider that maybe that makes me a good athlete, but I've actually always considered myself a really mediocre athlete, but a really good coach. My husband, Pat, and I own Peak State Fit together. We coach triathletes and cyclists for their goals, whether that be Ironman triathlon or racing um, road or mountain bike or ultra running. My own personal philosophy on nutrition is that we should eat as if our life depended on it. So for me personally, that means fueling my workouts so that I know if I'm going for a swim, well, I know that I need to eat two hours before my swim so that I'm properly fueled. And then also post-workout, especially those gym workouts, those heavy weight training days, I know that I have a plan so that usually in the car on the way home, I'm drinking a protein smoothie. I think women's health is something that is not shared in public spaces often enough. I think so many teenagers enter puberty and have no idea what's going on with their bodies. And women going into menopause, I feel, I felt like that. I, I just knew that things were different and I wasn't sure what. And so it was really sort of a self-discovery process. And during that process, I realized that in everything I've read in my own research, I know that holding on to lean muscle mass and supporting healthy bone density are the two primary things that women should be concerned with during premenopause and postmenopause. And Ironman training was taking about 24 hours of my time each week, even though that was a passion and it was sort of my identity to do Ironman and to be a triathlon coach that I was ready to take, make a change. And so I got back in the gym and um, honestly doing th things that are more for de-stress. And I think that a lot of people just, they feel limited because they, there's a perception that there's something that's holding them back by their age. You know, age honestly is just a number and not to sound cliche by saying that, but truly, and if you, if you think of your body as just an endless possibilities of you know, getting out there and, and doing exactly what you want every day. And that's the way I think. I, I don't wake up and think that I'm limited by a number or by age. I think about what I wanna do and what do I need to do to achieve it.